This is the story of Thomas and the alternate universe. Before we got to set, one of the things that was really important was getting the character's initial design like established, um, what their proportions were, what they look like, and how they're going to relate to the actors themselves. The film noir detective Toad was, was definitely something that was really fun to bring in, I mean, especially with the eye movements and things like that, trying to make him really a little bit more quizzical and, and dubious. I think the key is that it has to look real. It has to look like a, a real toad. So everything from the bumpiness to the sliminess, shininess, uh, to the movement, which is what I was more responsible for. I think the most important personality trait for the toad is that he's really grumpy. and. We've tried to accentuate this in the CG with his like mouth line and how far down his like mouth goes and how his eyes, you know, furrow and they're never really open wide. Like he's never curious. He's always like suspicious. The rabbit character, he is very wide-eyed and alert and we've been kind of going with that in the animation process. Yeah, we it was actually a lot of fun getting to do his character because his face is just, it's gaunt, it's weird looking, it's creepy. Um, and as a result, we got this really fun, uh, crazy character. He's really nervous, he's, he looks like he's been up all night. We started modeling him and creating and adding the fur, he started to feel like more like, like a stray dog that you, you want to adopt and, and give him a shower or something. We use an in-house tool called Fertility, and that tool basically enables us to streamline the process of getting photoreal fur. And you know, you, you modify things like the clumping, the, the different colors of the hair, and the different ways in which they have, you know, different tip lengths and all that stuff. She's mysterious. Um, it happens at a point in the commercial. There's like a light change, and then the woman becomes the bird, and she's like just staring at Thomas in this kind of alluring way and he's not sure what's going to happen. Well, when we first started, we went like rather sexy bird and like we were liking that, but it wasn't really like in the vein of, of the commercial, I thought. So we went more realistic with the bird, like with a bird head, head shape, maybe a, a little bit thicker neck. One thing that we've sort of adapted is the eyes. The eyes look more like the actress's eyes on a much larger scale. We went through a lot of versions of different eyes. Uh, shapes like the size and eyelids, whether she's squinting or raising an eyebrow, raising both eyebrows, or squinting both eyes. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe the number of iterations we went through. When we first got the, the script was um, an animal riding, riding a cricket. Um, the cricket was inspired by the first shot uh, in the commercial. Like, different things that gave Thomas inspiration. He saw a cricket and so that sort of foreshadows like what's to come and so it's kind of like a fun moment to, to sort of recreate. We thought that like crickets or grasshoppers do that it would be hopping but um, Bjorn thought it would be better if it, it acted like more like a horse so we uh, making a six-legged creature gallop like a horse is pretty pretty interesting yes. to do but um, I think it worked out.